This guy tells it like it is, folks. Big round of applause for Rich Friedland. Let him know, Rich! Hello, Sarasota. So I'm relatively new to Sarasota. I actually see my next door neighbor here. It's a little intimidating. Uh, I'm new to Sarasota. Been here about four years. And when I first got here, I wanted to meet people. And where do you go to meet people? And it's not Tinder. I know Ron was thinking Tinder. It's me the Meetup app. Anybody familiar with the Meetup app? And I saw a Meetup group that was perfect for me, the Skeptic Society. So I wrote them an email. And I said, I want to join your group. I'm not sure it's real. I am now the president of the Skeptic Society. So, being from New York, and anyone that is from New York knows two things about us. We get pissed off a lot. And we have an opinion about everything. I'm traveling the other day, and I travel a lot. So I've got too much travel time logged in. And a woman in front of me, I'm boarding the plane, and a woman in front of me says, excuse me, sir, can you help me put my luggage up in the overhead bin? All right, time out, okay? This is what I want to see from now on, right? This is probably the opinion part here. Uh, outside by the travel gate, I want to see practice overhead bins. <laughs> if you can't lift your luggage and put it in the bin, bag it and check it, okay? Hey, Grandma, that 100-pound bag with bricks in it, let me see you put it up in the bin. You practice bin. You can't do it? Check it. I'm not doing it for you, okay? So then I'm thinking, all right, I'm a Delta Diamond member. That's how much I travel. And when you're a Delta Diamond member, right, my friend Keith knows this. He's a Delta Diamond member. You get drink coupons. You get coupons for snacks. You get coupons for earphones that only cost 50 cents and all kinds of other stuff. But what you don't get is what you really need, right? And what I find that I really need on these flights is a defibrillator. And I want a defibrillator that has two modes. One is stun and one is defibrillate. Defibrillate, if I really need it, I'll use it. Most of the time, it's gonna stay in stun mode. And then next time, someone says to me, can you please help me put my bag in the overhead bin? I'm taking out my defibrillator, clear, pop. Now my poor neighbor here looks horrified. I did, I did say clear first. All right, so I finally, on this horrible flight, get to my seat, and of course I have a middle seat, rush to flight, and on my left hand side, I've got a guy shaking his leg like crazy. Like this, one of these guys, right? Absolutely unbelievable. So I slide over to the right. And then all of a sudden, I hear an explosion on my right, and Jabba the Hutt comes pounding and landing in the seat next to me. His fat rolls over the armrest into my seat. I'm already leaning over next to him, so I'm basically engulfed in, in his belly. And I'm thinking, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm not allowed to say Jabba the Hutt anymore. I have to say, with gifted. And by the way, we can't even say with challenged anymore. And this is part of the problem I have with the every kid gets a trophy generation, right? These are all the kids that we gave the damn trophies for for participating. Hey, Johnny, did you poop today? I didn't, Daddy, I'm really sorry. But did you sit on the toilet and try to poop? I did try. You know what? You're a good participator. Here's a trophy for trying to poop. This is what goes on every time. So then I'm like sitting next to, to my with gifted friend and then I'm thinking, all right, next time I overhead bin by the travel gate, I want a chair, a seat. Everybody's got to sit in that seat. You can't fit in the seat if you're with gifted and, you, and your fat rolls over the, over the handrail. Guess what? I got, I got bad news and good news. Here's the bad news. You got to buy a more expensive seat and you got to sit in the with gifted section. Here's the good news. Unlimited orange soda and Twinkies. 
everybody else water and kale chips. All right, so finally, I'm like, the only thing I have going for me left here is that I'm starved. And I'm like, all right, I'm between these two horrible guys. And by the way, I would have zapped them also. I would have been clear on my, on my river dance guy next to me with the leg shaker because that would have stopped the river dance. And Jabba the Hutt, I would have hit clear. He would have turned into a morphy mold and slid under the seat where I would have had a foot rest. And I don't know if you've ever had a foot rest or an ottoman on a plane. It's very comfortable. And right when I'm ready to get my snack, the, the flight attendant gets on and the flight attendant says, uh, we have somebody with a peanut allergy. I'm sorry, uh, we're not gonna be serving snacks. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you, have a, if you have an allergy and you get on a damn plane, take your fucking EpiPen before you get on the damn plane. Because I don't care if your head swells up and you look like Mr. Peanut, I'm eating my damn snacks from now on. There's 280 people on the plane. Be thoughtful. Now I know, I know, everybody thinks I'm so angry and I'm impatient and all of that. I would prefer from now on, when you think of me, that you think of me as somebody who is rage gifted. Thank you. Man, Rich, Freeland, let him hear it. <laughs>